What's up everybody? I'm gonna make a video this morning that's gonna explain uh, why people are snapping the rear ends in the Corvette C7s. This is, uh, we're actually gonna go test a theory, so may or may not explain uh, one theory I've had about this. First off, the clutch of the C7 is, is, uh, is strong. Um, you see guys like Street Speed, um, 717 and uh, I think he's got a modded supercharged C06. I'm not sure if it's the same clutch as what's in this but uh, it's taken him I think like 900 horsepower to burn that thing up. So <clears throat> one one issue is uh, the clutches are super strong apparently stronger than the rear ends at least in uh, uh, Car Guy 11's uh, C7 you can watch his video. He's got a great video. He's at the drag strip and he uh, um, snaps his rear end at the drag strip. So extremely uh, strong rear end, uh, extremely strong clutch in these cars. Apparently I can't talk and drive. Um, so that's, that's one thing. You, the, the clutch is strong enough to snap the rear end. So um, my theory though is that there's another force in play and what I think it is is the braking force um, on the rear brake so if you're not familiar with the C7 uh, what they do is if you're on a, a little bit of a hill and you have the car in gear um, it and you have the clutch in and your foot off of the brake the car will anticipate that you do not want to roll backwards so what it does is it puts the brakes on. And um, I think this is why the rear ends are snapping. Now, there was one other guy that had commented. He said he snapped his rear end in his Grand Sport. Same thing as Car Guy 11. I tried to ask him what year it was. He never wrote me back. I think Car Guy's 11's uh, C7 is a 2015. So this may be something that's changed. I'm just gonna kinda go try to test the theory on on uh, my car, mine's a 2017 C7. Um, so what I'm gonna do, first off, I'll show you guys, I need to go get to a, something that has a little bit of an uh, incline to it so that I can show you how the whole thing works where the car puts on the brakes for you. And then um, we're gonna see if that stays on when we go into launch mode. So if that stays on then when we go into launch mode, then I can pretty much guarantee you that's why Car Guy 11's rear end snapped. Even though he's on a flat drag strip there, I th mo what my theory is, and I have no way to prove it, is that he had his, his brake automatically went on, his car didn't have enough time to go completely into launch mode, because if you watch uh, his video, the tack comes up and he just about gets to his, uh, his point where his car is going to go in launch mode and launches it. And so what I think happened is the car put on the rear brake, he launched it, and uh, of course if the back tires are locked up, clutch is going to spin, um, clutch is stronger than the rear end, rear end blows out. So I mean either way it's still a vehicle, um, vehicle malfunction in my opinion. And um, it should be fixed. I, I don't know. We're going to go test it out and see what happens. So, Okay, so here we are on this uh, little hill here. Up ahead, you can see, hopefully in the other video. I'm going to try and get my, both my videos side by side now that I have this uh, front-mounted camera. So the first thing I'm going to try and do is um, get the function to engage so I can show you guys what that's about. Okay, so... We're gonna to come to a stop here. We're on our little hill. Wait, if I let off the gas, see the car's rolling backwards? Now once I put it into gear, like that, I've got the clutch in, and I'm gonna let my foot off the brake. See, the car doesn't move. There, it just released. So what my question is, see how I'm kind of giving it gas? It's not gonna release you let off so here's what my question is will I got a car behind me so I'm gonna move but will that function hold when I get 
right before up into the point when I get the car into launch mode. So the way that I'm going to test that is I'm going to put the car, set it up for launch mode, get it how it is there, and then see if it releases right when I hit the RPM to launch at the correct uh, at the correct time. If the parking lot. I'm not actually going to launch the car, so I don't need anything in front of me. If I launch the car to that sagebrush, we'll have a hell of a video. Okay, so here to show you guys, boom, let off the gas, but if I put it in gear like that and let off the gas, see, it holds it. It does release it when I'm hitting the throttle, so um, let's see what happens here. So we're going to put it into Stabilitrack, competitive driving mode. I'm gonna just see, there it lets it off. We're gonna go here into first gear as if we're gonna go into launch mode. Ah, there it is. That's the problem, right there. So you guys just saw it yourselves. As soon as I went into launch mode, it actually held for about three seconds. Now, can you imagine if I would have tried to launch it right there? Probably would have had a snap to her in. So let's just, uh, Okay guys, so check it out. We got our traction control off, just to kind of recap and show you. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, now I'm gonna put on Stabila Track. This is how you get in launch mode. You double tap this twice. Just like that, Stabila Track competitive driving mode. Okay, so now if you guys watch, just watch out, so I'm gonna let off the brake. We roll back. Okay, so now, Watch what happens. I'm gonna put in the clutch, put it in first gear, and you can see it's holding me. I don't have my foot on the brake. So it just started to roll there for a second. So let me pull forward here. So now let me show you guys what's happening. So I'm gonna go as if I'm gonna be in launch mode and I'm gonna try and put the camera, well I'll be able to sync it up with the PDR, so hopefully, so you guys can see. So I'm gonna go as if I'm in launch mode and you watch, it'll hold the car, it'll hold the car's brakes, and that would definitely snap the rear end. So here we go, we're gonna try it one more time. There we go, in launch mode, not moving at all. Now it just now released, so that was a couple seconds that it was in launch mode. If I would've dropped the clutch, how Chevy says, snapped rear end. So check it out. We got our traction control off, just to kind of recap and show you. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, now I'm gonna put on Stabila Track. This is how you get in launch mode. You double tap this twice. Just like that, Stabila Track competitive driving mode. Okay, so now if you guys watch, just watch out, so I'm gonna let off the brake. We roll back, okay. So now, watch what happens. I'm gonna put in the clutch put it in first gear, and you can see it's holding me. I don't have my foot on the brake. So it just started to roll there for a second. So let me pull forward here. So now let me show you guys what's happening. So I'm gonna go as if I'm gonna be in launch mode, and I'm gonna try and put the camera, well I'll be able to sync it up with the PDR, so hopefully, so you guys can see. So I'm gonna go as if I'm in launch mode, and you watch, it'll hold the car, it'll hold the car's brakes, and that would definitely snap the rear end. So here we go, we're gonna try it one more time. There we go, in launch mode, not moving at all. Now it just now released, so that was a couple seconds that it was in launch mode. If I would've dropped the clutch, how Chevy says, snapped rear end. All right guys, well that pretty much proves my point. Um, I know that some people are gonna say, well, car guy and most other people are on a flat surface when they're launching their uh, C7s. Uh, that may be true, maybe, I don't know how sensitive the sensor is. I don't know all the specifics, but that was my theory. And uh, <coughs> I, I pretty much proved it right there. So if you're gonna put, if you're gonna launch your C7 Corvette in uh, launch mode like that, I highly recommend that you do it on a flat surface. But who knows when or how the car determines that it puts on the brake for you like that. It obviously does it in launch mode, 
and I, I guarantee you if you have your brake on and you launch this thing something's gonna snap whether it be your clutch or your rear end way too much harm um, at this point now knowing that doing that test and knowing what I know I'm not gonna launch this thing in launch mode ever again I think I've done it like five times um, not smart so anyhow um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I think what we'll do is we'll just end with a little launch